Arbiter. Awesome. Hey, we're live. Uh, welcome. My name is Garrick. Today we're sampling Ruth. I hate this. Yeah, we have a shitty draft. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Grumpy. <laughs> I got all freaked all right. out a second ago because I'm not used to being in a real seat and it changed my camera position. I was like, ah. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Well, there's only one correct back choice here. And everyone knows it's Lake. Oh. <laughs> you didn't notice I actually pushed out a bunch of stats during our last game. I did not notice. Like I pushed out the overview stats for the whole tournament. Lake map ain't doing so hot. But it's doing better than I anticipated it doing. Like, there's just no reason to pick it. Because mountain like specifically helps certain factions, and then mm. people know summer and winter, and so they pick those because they're familiar with them. Whereas lake yeah. is just like the weird third op or fourth one that isn't especially good on the surface, yeah. and they don't know I it. I feel like I feel like lake is just lake is probably the pick if you have something that needs interconnectivity as an obvious pick like badgers um lake map hmm? like the the person picking the map oh wants to counter badgers wants oh to counter badgers picking it as a counterplay thing. i understand for it yeah I speaking of that's what i'm trying to figure out here i mean do you like... really want to not have mountain map if you get in left with two vagabonds yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I kind of feel like this is a winter map game. <laughs> or maybe this is a summer game. I don't know. Also, I'm going to say real quick, it's totally a distraction. Um, another fun statistic that I noticed from the overall stats is that the seat win rate is really even. <laughs> that's I mean fun. Like, AdSet actually did a very good job of, like, evening that out, and I was like, dang, that's cool. Yeah, I actually think this is a good summer, good summer draft. Okay. What we got? Interesting. Hmm. We're going to play Eerie. Yeah. What? I never saw that one coming. Never saw that coming? No, Never. Can't believe you'd pick Eerie and a and a Despot Eerie too. My gosh, you jerk! What? Well, I didn't pick Despot. <laughs> I'm just predicting it. <laughs> oh, I'm predicting Charismatic. What? That would be bad in this map right now. Yeah, you got to go Commander. If like Mole's set up here, like then I'm just <laughs> if Mole's well, gonna get picked. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I cats. feel like we're gonna have cats, which is just just my feeling, but I don't know. Lily's got a cat's hand. Lily hates cats. What the hell are you talking about? Lily has literally never played cats. I played it once! A whole once! Oh, you did? I did terribly Lily. and I hate I'm them! Gonna, I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna go Builder. Okay. Fuck it. Builder. That's, that's a choice? That's a choice. <laughs> We're gonna do it. He's He's got Master Engravers and Double T in his hand, guys. All right. I um, started in bunny too. Interesting. Builder in bunny and no other bunny clearings the easily available. Yeah, I'll go moles. I hate you so much. I know. I mean, I feel like it's the obvious pick with this draft. Well, Lily, does this convince you to go cats? <sighs> I'm not sure. Oh, but now I have to make a decision, don't I? 
Mm -hmm. Sure do. I hate making decisions. This is the worst. Okay. <coughs> This is your only homeland, right? The tunnel. Okay. Gonna... Wait, why'd I put that one there? I meant to put it there. I'm sorry. I hate myself so much right now. <laughs> Please kill me. I probably could have gone cats with my hand, but I wasn't in the mood for cats. I don't know if I can actually sustain cats with the cats in my hand, but I'm gonna... With the cats in your hand? There's cats in your hand? She's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> the cards in my hand, but you know what? I'm gonna be dumb. Nope. No. You get back here. Mother! Stupid well, cat. Sounds like I'm choosing Vagabond. Yes, what? you are. I, I warned you this would happen. <laughs> you did what, warn him. As if I had a choice in the matter? You could have gone mountain. Would mountain have been better? Yeah. I would have probably been more inclined to go Vagabond on mountain. <coughs> Vagabond's better on mountain because of the lost city. It makes aiding and questing much more consistent. Mm. <laughs> I guess that's true. I wasn't, I I I wasn't joking. I... <laughs> How does alt, drop? Alt, alt, alt right click. Alt. I feel like the problem with that logic, though, is that Mountain also oh, just wait. makes Eerie much better. Does it make them that much better? I mean, they can get anywhere they want to go, whereas... I don't know, I mean, Eerie is kind of always just good, but I feel like I felt like it was better for Eerie. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, at some point I you have to like... care more about being doing something that's good for you than something that's bad for someone else. Well, I'll, I'll frame it this way. I think Eerie on Mountain feels much more comfortable going charismatic even in seat four. Yeah, that's fair. As it is, I'm not really that concerned about... Like, I have a decent Vagabond hand, so it's fine. I was kind of hoping for du double Vagabond because the explorers usually work out a little bit easier. Be dumb. Yeah, it's not dumb. It's a little dumb. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I, uh, that's that's everything, right? And choose your hero. Yep. I'd probably favor Vagrant in most cases, but I don't know. Arbiter might have an argument with Eerie and uh, Cats in the game. Arbiter, well, the reason I was thinking Arbiter is more just from a questing perspective, but Vagrant probably is better, ultimately. I feel like Vagrant just takes longer to get online. Who knows? Let's just do this. Go Vagrant. At least this way you have the best meeple in the game. Uh, I think technically you do place your meeple before looking at the quests. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My meeple goes in the same place every time on, on the autumn map. What? So, uh, I can't believe it. <coughs> okay. Those quests are not great. Yeah, that... Oh. Yay <clears throat> for the tea quests. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, this to is be fair, at least they wouldn't have been better for Arbiter, so... 
this is not looking like a, a Vagabond game. So you should aid your friend the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe craft, craft some stuff? I feel like you're safe to do it. I feel like you can very safely craft some stuff. So I leave now, right? <coughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everyone's drafted hands, yes? Yep. Yep. Garrick, remember you don't have to leave. I leave now, right? <laughs> oh no. We're just drafting a bunch of times, right? That's all we wanted to do? Hey, I like that. Drafts are fun. Pat was just making fun of our other group for practicing drafts. I wasn't making fun of that, what? It sounds like Pat to make fun of it. God damn it. No, I think it was, maybe it wasn't making fun. It was more like, oh, that's weird. Why are they doing that? <laughs> uh, Mutuka, cats are stronger with ad set, but also other factions got stronger. And cats are still just really hard to play. So, like, they're stronger, but they're not necessarily better, relatively speaking, and they're not any easier to play than they were. All right, I go first. Awesome. Well, slip. Search. Just what I needed as the uh, as the vagrant. vagrant. <laughs> that would have been a, a sick pull if you were arbiter. Yeah, sick turn one bag. Arbiter has satchel issues. It. Yeah. No, it does. It does. I'm. I'm debating a turn one aid. Aids are good. You get a point. I just don't have much else to do, but it's going to improve Lily's position a lot. But I'm cats. I mean, you have a boot. You could go give it to Eerie. But I'm cats. <laughs> it would be worse to give it to you. <laughs> or to Pat, I should say. But thank yeah. you. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, it's probably a bird. Aid Lily. I mean, would it be worse to give it to the cats who got an action out of it? Well, cats get one action. You get a consistent <laughs> action every turn. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just let people say nonsense, and I won't. I won't <laughs> say anything about it. It's, it's fine. It, it's not as if I haven't already considered that and ruled it out entirely. Give me God. the bird card. I'm not doing anything else. This is such a crap first turn as Vagabond. There's no questing I can do. God. All right, turn one. Don't forget Done. to draw cards. Yeah. Like one of the most important things that people forget to do. <coughs> and get, let's put out the wood at the sawmills. And now I don't know what the hell to do. Oh no. Well, I did just aid you a bird card, so. You did. Um. Build overwork build, right? 
Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen, unfortunately. It's just not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Why would you build. not want to build overwork build? A sawmill, because I wanted to craft this. Oh. But it's fine. Why not overwork build in a different location that you can overwork in? Spend Shut the up. Spend the bird card to do that. I don't want to spend the bird card. That is the problem I have, sir. <laughs> and... You could go for the double sawmill opening. Wait, you're going for a workshop? What? what? No, wait, that's not the right one. I meant the other one. Yeah, if you have too many birds, you could go for the double sawmill opening. Could. Or you could shut your mouth. All right. I'll stop being helpful. <laughs> uh, build. <coughs> oh, I should have gotten points or something. Did you draw cards? No. <laughs> Y'all are hopeless. Why would I do that? <laughs> All right, I got a dude in the burrow. Uh, moving on to daylight, I will recruit, and I will move. Howdy. Uh, Get out. No minister. I can't do that. No minister actions. I will sway. I've got a fox, a mouse, and a fox. I will get Bridget. Oopsie, that's the wrong button. T. I specifically did not pick Vagabond, so I could deny T to a Vagabond. Oh. So rude. So rude. I get two him. points. Uh, he's turned in my hand. I draw one card. And I'm done. All right, put a bird card into builds. Probably all we bother with. Uh... Pre move. Oh, I get to recruit first. Derp. Recruit. Build a roost. Hi, we're sharing, Lily. Uh, I get a point for roosts. I draw one card, and I'm done. Uh, that was a fast round. Goodness. I don't like this. Which part? Everything. That's fair. All of it. Yeah, it's a pretty bad game. Totally right. unbalanced. Gig. Hey, at least it'll be fast. Glaring design flaws. God. Ah. That is unfortunate. Everything about this game has been unfortunate. <laughs> well, well, all the better to aid with, right? Ah. <sighs> There's literally nothing of value I can do other than aiding. Aiding is good. <laughs> Vagrant can do the uh, the aid strat the best. Can't be forced hostile. You start with coins, so you have better card draw. Need help. Here you go, Lily. What? You're the best. You don't want to give anything to a mole? No. <laughs> <laughs> when has that ever been the right choice? I know we're Especially dirty, one who's hoarding friendly. tea. I, I can't build a turn one. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't all start with our crafting pieces, Lily. But you're still hoarding it. You admitted to hoarding it. Yeah, but who said I was serious? Me. Anyway, um... I'm going to overwork at this one. And I'm going to spend these two to build another sawmill. Oh. Um... Overwork... Builds. Hey guys, I'll be right back. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie.
I'm going to move and I'm going to give you your points for building. No, thank you. Actually, I don't want to move. I lied. I Actually, no, I do want to move. I lied again. Um, I get one draw, so let's... Oh, I messed up. That's okay. Um, let's spend this other saboteurs to recruit. Huh? She's recruiting. I held no, the wrong up. button. She I hit picked control. up that I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> I hit control instead of alt. That was my bad. All right, and then I draw one and I done. All right, I get a mole in the burrow. Uh, moving on to daylight, I will. Recruit, recruit. Sure. Sure. Um. <laughs> hey, fancy circling. <laughs> um, God, it's such a waste, but I have no strong need of Bridget right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no Bridget actions. I'll just sway a minister. Uh, fox, mouse, fox, rabbit. Bear, no dirt. One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. I draw one card, and I'm done. Okay. Put one uh, to mouse battle. Recruit. We recruit one. We move one. We declare battle on the cats here. Oh, that's a sh shock. No. Oh, no. That's no bueno. Two zero. <coughs> so I score a point. Go I away, then man. am going to build here. I told you I need help. Uh, we score two for roosts. I mean, it's not my fault. You came exactly where I wanted to go my first two turns. Oh, well, you could have vocalized uh, I, that. I drew two and I go. That's fair. I could have. One, you could have vocalized that. Two, you had bird cards. You could have changed your plans, but no. Anyway. Yeah, Lily, I'm surprised you kept the sawmill because it's going to build another wood. And unless you save it next turn, that means it's two points for Pat. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, can yeah. I? Yeah, That's... you're good. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I'm an idiot. Lily's got that, uh, or no, Pat's got that Master Engravers in hand. He's got to go to the double mouse. I didn't know this! <laughs> Alan doesn't know if that's true either. Well, it's probably that. I don't know why else you would go build her. I'm just making big assumptions. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, uh, the builder still gets two points. Or if you're non builder you still get two points with Master Engravers. It's a second proc. Alright, slip... Hey, uh, you have the perfect setup for the aid strat. Oh? Well, yeah, you, no you got all the ruin items except for the sword. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fair. I get a point for that. 
I will tap my hammer and craft this tea. Yep. Very nice. Nice. Did you forget to exhaust your torch? Uh, there it is. Sorry about that. Um, Are you going to fundraise? Fundraise? Fundraise. Oh, that is a thing I could do, isn't it? I'm even in a... You're not oh, in a box, no, but you could move over to one. <coughs> I could. Um, or you could aid. Aid me! We can be best of friends! I'd have to aid you every card in my hand. I don't think that's my play yet. Yeah, come aid me. No, I'm better! <laughs> I'm easier. Well, we all knew that. It's true. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Hang on, I need a I need a I need a think. I need to think. Dangerous. What type of wild predictions and accusations can we make about Alan to throw him off the same way he's been trying to do to us all game? <laughs> uh, he's got soup kitchens and he's angling to craft it. That, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just, I just don't know why anyone would choose Builder unless they had the perfect hand for it, okay? That's all. Because they're um, dumb, Alan. You shouldn't say these things about Pat. I mean, I, I wasn't saying it. <laughs> <Derek>. <laughs> oh, I could, could do this. Uh... It's not the turn for it, though. <sighs> it's always the turn for aiding the cats. You could go fundraise. Get it done with. You never have to worry about it again. I say that, and the next card is going to be the other fundraise. <laughs> I was going to say. I mean, then he had three bunnies, right? Because the other fundraise is a bunny, I think. I don't remember. I'd have to move into Fox. So I'd be spending boot and then <laughs> spending T coins. So I'd end up with five exhausted items. God, it's so bad. You got the T so you can refresh three next turn because it'll be exhausted. No, I, I mean, honestly, it is probably the best thing I can do. I'm just annoyed. That's fair. I'll move back to Fox. I think I like this Fox clearing. Go ahead and fundraise. Hey, look, it's not a fundraise. And heck, no. you could almost do it right now. Um, I sure. am... If you draw, you're basically committing to aiding because otherwise you'll discard. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Well, no, because he only gets one card because he got rid of the cards. coins. So, oh, he gets two cards from the quest, right? So you have to draw them at the end. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I'm committing to aiding. It's more maybe I'm milling the deck trying to find the other hammer or something. Eh. Uh, eh. You do you. If you have an, an unexhausted item, somebody in your clearing that you're uh, indifferent with, and an excess card, it's... You gotta make Man, a solid argument just, not to aid it. You, you are just really angling for that sixth card on your turn, huh? I don't even care that much. I just, I feel like from an optimization perspective, that's that's just not a perfect optimization for the Vagabond. Or just take the point. Like, 
No, I think the point's the better choice. Right, like, I'm totally for taking the point. I was just saying, if you take the cards, I think that's committing to aiding. That was my only point. I think the problem is now that the T is in my bag, I'm... Yeah, not... I, I'm totally for the point for that reason, because you, you're you taking a bum turn for refreshes. All right. <coughs> what does Lily do? Lily doesn't know. Lily doesn't know. <laughs> Lily knows nothing. As is... Um... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> All right, we're going to move. Oh, you've got so many people there, Pat. I do. Oh, sorry. It's okay. He's not sorry. He's not sorry, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna move. I'm gonna build. Wait, did you pull one from that box clearing? No, it's still... No, no, not... This one and this one. No, I mean... She... When did you have two over here? She just did I that moved. now. I did a move from here to here. Right, a march so that's, and a march that's from what I'm here. asking. Oh, sorry. Why do that instead of like pulling the one? Yeah, no, that's that's what I meant to do. I'm sorry. You caught me. I meant to do that instead of what I did. That's why I asked. Thank you. Um, moved building. I give you a long term oh. plans to invade. You know, this clearing, I could understand leaving this, but otherwise... Yeah, you're... no, it's not worth it. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the sawmill back out. Got to have those three sawmills. Um, did you get your points? Then... No, why would I do that? And then I'm going to move... One, two. Am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. You could also recruit. Yeah, I was debating between the two, but neither of them really gave me what I want. It's fair. So that's annoying. That so that's fair. why I'm sad. So I might as well just do the worst one. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to keep that one. All right. Okul e dokul e. Um... Sure. Uh, I get my one in daylight or one in bird song. Uh, in daylight, I'm going to be greedy, I suppose. Let's do two builds. Get him. Let's see how it goes. I haven't played a greedy moles in a while, so I'm excited to try it. Uh, Minister actions, Baron of Dirt. I get two points. Uh, Bridget, I will march in there. There is not enough space in this clearing. Uh, and we'll march an extra one over. And then we will sway a minister with Fox Fox Bunny. Get ourselves Mr. Mayor. Craft tunnels. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. Uh, an evening. This one goes away. Easier turn to my hand. I'll go ahead and craft the tea for two points. 
Oh, you were supposed to hold it. I was lying. Uh, and then I draw <laughs> three cards. And discard one. Um, we'll get rid of it. Okay, we're going to add a card. I'm going to put one into recruit. And... Is that all? Yeah, that's going to be all. Um, we go to daylight. We're going to craft master engravers. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious. <laughs> I just like how you tried to deny it. And I'm also going to craft swap meat. Nice. Good one. I mean, at what point uh, do we ever believe Pat? So Never. Yeah, exactly. Okay, recruit. Move. Uh, we'll battle the wood. I'm assuming that's a point, Lily. Yep. Okay. And then build a roost. Three points for you. Three points. Two cards. And I'm done. Okay. Woof. Okay, I will refresh my coins, refresh a boot. Do I refresh the T? So I can just aid Garrick to get one. I think I do. Where are you going with those boots? Well... I think he was trying to question. Nice. That makes sense. <coughs> Maybe? I don't know if I do. Because I was wondering whether, whether you question Mouse or question Bunny. Ooh. Oh, that works out. Oh, kind of. Eh, I don't love that. I think I think I slip oh, that's the worst so if I want to do the bunny I have to flip my torch instead can it be the molar express without the winter map I don't think it can Maybe the mountain map for moles. Mm. <laughs> That's fair. This is Train Tuesday. I think... Bad face. I think I don't <laughs> slip. You shouldn't have lost so hard. You know what, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just lose. I got my ass whooped on that one. <laughs> you know what? We'll do this in 
instead. I, I did too, so I'm right there with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I do that, and it ends up that's in. That's wiped. That's wiped. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need the torch. I don't need the torch. Okay, that's how this is better. All right, sorry about that. I just needed a minute to figure out how that was going to work. Uh, wait, shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything is horrible. Yeah, I'm not going to slip. I will aid the Ugh, This is why this sucks. I'll aid this to the moles. The tea. But you're not unexhausting your torch? I'm not uh, unexhausting. I think the he's torch. doing the bunny quest instead or the mouse quest. Uh, so that's yours, Garrick. Yep. I was just waiting to make sure I was <coughs> voicing my criticisms of your turn. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I then move to mouse. Is it here? I think it's here. And then I will do the mouse quest. You have a point, Zergling. Don't bite the hand that aids you. <laughs> For... You get to see your quest before you decide. This is true. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. Yes, he does. Oof, all the tea quests. <laughs> At least you got More the second tea, tea now. Quest. Yeah, I got the 2T, but this doesn't... This is just not panning out well, guys. Ah, <laughs> eh, you're doing okay. You're keeping up. Better than I am. <coughs> um, yeah, cats are the, the one in a rough spot I'm, here. I'm grumpy! That wasn't obvious. <laughs> I think that's totally but valid. I'm pretty sure I just did. And I was I mean, grumpy since the draft. <laughs> like, who's the one that wanted to play Root instead of another game of Trains? I'm just saying. <laughs> I wanted to play a good game of Root, not this. <laughs> All right, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. Very cool. So let's start. We get some wood out on the board. <laughs> It doesn't work when you take it out of a thing. It's really annoying, yeah. When it comes out of like a loop or a supply. No, it just doesn't for the first one. It just right didn't click. do for the second one. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm gonna build. Shocking, I know. Wait, the cat's build? Are you spending, no. You're spending those two wood? Yes. Okay. Because I feel like it! That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna build again. I figured that was coming. I wasn't going to say anything until the end of your turn. I'm going to panic. I'm going to recruit. <coughs> oh, damn it. I forgot. You did forget to draw. <laughs> you got to make a habit. You don't end your turn until you draw. Because if somebody yeah. decides to get strict about it. Especially and... given that I do this almost every turn. Definitely. I need I'm to start doing what I do with other factions. Overwork. 
like actually no you saw nothing for for whatever reason every faction except vagabond i'm usually like and now i will refresh three items and then i will slip <laughs> and then i will do this like normally i literally read down the action list so that i don't miss stuff maybe it's because no, no, the daylight's free form I'm going to spend these two to overwork down here. You're not going to craft those coins? Oh. Oh, man. If I could, I definitely would, but I definitely can't. That's totally fine. I <laughs> done. I'm just a little sad that I'm not drawing a lot of craftables myself. That's fair. I got them all in the burrow. Uh, I go to daylight. <laughs> um... I have weird ideas now. Um, oh no. I don't think we're going to do them though. We will recruit Twice. Move on to minister actions. Well, goodness. Uh, will Baron of Dirt gain two points? Will Bridget march? Uh, march. Oh. <sighs> Uh, we will forego the mayor and sway, uh, fox, fox, bunny, actually that's a good argument for using mayor after all. Um, yeah, we will use... Mayor. Because we're going to send one dude over here. Uh, Fox, Fox, Bunny, Bunny. Uh, we get... Doo -doo -doo. His name is Earl. Three points. Uh, an evening these return to my hand. I will craft a bag for one point. And draw three cards. Let me pick what to discard. Um, My card draws have not been great today. OK. 
get rid of tunnels. Let's get rid of charm offensive. Let's get rid of Eric. Get rid of copy makers. All right, first thing, I'm going to swap me you, Garrick. Sounds good. Do you want, okay. Is that better for me? <laughs> yeah, you can have that. Um, thank you. No problem. We're going to put that in the decree. That's it. We're going to go to daylight. We're going to craft this boot for two points. Bend. And now we're going to act out decree. One, two. Uh, mouse movement, bird movement. Hi, Garrick. Howdy. I'm going to declare battle here, Lily. Do you ambush? Where? Down here, because it's my mouse battle. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to roll. So, 1-1. One, one. Dang, I was really hoping for a 2-2. Two, two. That would have been fun. That's okay. Uh, and then we build all the way up there for four points. One, two, three, four, and two cards, and go, Alan. Double T at least makes my fresh easier. All right, uh, I gotta think this through. Best way. <coughs> Could be worse. I think if I'm gonna aid levels again, I need to do it now before I get banker on. Uh, okay. Let's we'll start by slipping. We'll spend it here. Spend this to aid. Wait, didn't you aid me? Shouldn't you be at level one with me? Yeah, yeah I took the coins. Sorry. The T. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you start with I coins. Aid. Birds. I'm offended. 
I'm also offended. <laughs> I'm not in that clearing, but I'm offended. Craft things that I want. Well, fine. Go ahead and aid the walls. Here you go, sir. Thank you. That bag. Use a bag to aid in the bag. I will give a speech. Ooh, nice. That's uh that's actually not bad. I am not loving that I am like Yeah, the spread is rough. Yeah. But in theory I could score all three of those for six points in a turn, so eh, if I can find a crossbow. <laughs> well, speaking of, do you want to draw or gain the point? <coughs> uh I think So I'm drawing to I think I do I think I draw two in this particular setup because I'm aiding again. <sighs> well, it's, that's actually I will spend a boot to move. I'll move up here. Spend my remaining boot to aid to get up to the two relationship. Makes sense. Two points for you. Very nice. Yeah, well, I don't know how we're going to stop Garrick if Alan keeps feeding him cards. Yep. Alan doesn't plan to keep feeding him cards. I only did this because he does not have Banker. He's going to have to discard most of those cards. Trust me, those cards. Okay. Yeah, let's not pretend like Eerie isn't an issue either. I mean, you I mean, both the... are issues. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm not denying I'm an issue. I'm just saying... Eerie is also so the difference an issue. is that Mole has <laughs> turn advantage, so I'm not going to be an issue when it comes to my next turn, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I draw two cards. So that's neither, the difference. Neither of those cards says hammer or crossbow, so hooray. <laughs> Goddamn. Well, Lily placed a workshop in Fox, so you might be happy this turn. That is a statement. I said, I said might. <laughs> yeah, I'm crafting the crossbow in the bag. See, there you go. Neat. Neat. You uh, told me to craft things you wanted. I want <laughs> I want cards that aren't well, those ones. I, I do want both of those. So. <laughs> All right. Not, um, not Yo, Pat, you got an ambush? Nope. Take it if you want it. Thanks. I'd rather I have it than anybody else at this table. I'm gonna do a thing, and it's gonna be cool. No, it's not actually gonna be cool. Um, I'm gonna march. I'm gonna battle this roost. Pat, do you have an ambush? Do you want to no. do the second part of your march? 
Oh yeah. Um, let's take this cat out of there. I feel like you're just handing the game to Garrick by doing that. I mean, taking out your points isn't exactly handing the game to him. No, it's by. No, he's gonna attack me. There, he has four attacks. Well, that's the statement. I'm gonna spend this card to uh, build. Um, this one. Oh, let's build a recruiter over here. All right. Boop. All right, I get a dude in my burrow. Uh, daylight. I was in the middle of planning this out. Man, my cards suck. Um, you mean that tea that I handed you didn't help? Haha. Uh -huh. Hey, it's your fault you crafted it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think it's your fault for crafting one of them. I think that's the correct th thing there. I started the draft with double T in hand. What do you want? Uh, both T's for me. All right, let's first daylight move these over. Second daylight will reveal a bunny and build a citadel in there. We'll move on to minister actions. We'll score one, two, three for a citadel in the two markets. Uh, and then we will bridge it, battle the Eerie in here. Do you have an ambush? No ambush. No ambush? No. 2-2. Two, two. Let's do it again. Yep. Oh, good. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Okay. Ah. That's a little better. And one more time. Just don't roll a three, please. Thank you. Could have been better, could have been worse. I'm okay with that. All honestly. right. Um, swearing ministers, I have a bunny, a fox, and a fox. Um, 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 yeah, we'll go for banker. I've got two lords. Two points. Uh, an evening is returned to my hand. I will craft a boot for one point. Uh, and I will draw three cards. Discard a million. Yep. How? How? OK. Um, well, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Actually, you know what? We can discard that sword and we can discard that hammer. Don't need them. <laughs> Garrick making the power plays. Yep. 
Um, I'm going to swap beat you again, Garrick. Yep, I figured. That's why I discarded those. Yeah. Yep. So, is there a world where Garrick doesn't win? Honestly? No. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's true that he... I mean, we just have to remove all this stuff. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff, and I'm... The only way for me to do it helpful. would be to... Well, because I could go allied with him, and I could march go. his entire army into this clearing. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, you could do that. But then cats would have to mop him up. I can mop him up, but the question is, does Banker... Does he still well, just that's, Banker? that's part of the problem, is I would have to hand him three cards to do it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he can just lose. I mean, could you not like take him out of both clearings? Yeah. Like completely. Even if even if I did though, it's three buildings. He does prize of failure three times. He loses. No. Well, that's if we're lucky. Lords. More likely two times, but possibly three. Just roll I mean, losers. How <laughs> oh, is that not how that? Oh my. Um. Fine. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can. Pro Actually, no, I can make him price of failure three times. Uh, no, no, I can't. Never mind, I'm a liar. Why not? I don't have that many actions. Would it help if I gave you some bird cards? <laughs> yeah, of course, always. Well, that might be what happens. <laughs> then yeah, we can make it work. If you give me bird cards, I can, I can do, I can do, I can do wonders. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I don't know how much it's gonna help because I'm gonna have to give him three cards. The only bird, the only cards I have to give are all in the same suit, which means they make a very easy banker choice. It's fair. Just don't give him a bird ambush, and we'll be fine. <coughs> yeah. Also, I do mean, we know where the bird ambushes are? The the other problem with this plan is I'm kind of just leaving Pat to be able to. Pat's now just allowed to do whatever the hell he wants this turn. I mean, well, true. We are. I did also kind of police Pat, and then Garrick police Pat, so that helps. I mean, it's really policing if I didn't remove as many pieces as I should have. Hmm. It's attempted policing. <laughs> but you're right, you are a failure. Yes, yes. As Ooh, long as we all agree. I know, I know what I can do. I can move back into the mouse clearing. I can instigate to use your cat warrior to remove. And I can... I'm down do with I... this. Well, I guess, but he can still choose to lose the tunnel. Blah. Yeah, but then on my turn, that's less pieces for me to chew through. True. But also, if he has an ambush, you can go hostile with me, so just be aware of that. True. Oh, man. So wait, if if and if units are killed off of instigate, I'm I go hostile. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's You're annoying. still technically the one who is battling. No, he's the one removing well, the pieces. And removing sorry, pieces removing is what pieces. makes you go hostile. That one. Lily, did you mean to type into chat that you still hate you supposedly me. Assumedly me. Yay. Yeah. That's that's what I meant. I meant to write this instead of you, but my brain is not fully there right now. That's fine. <laughs> cool. Cool. And need a bird card. Um Did you ever give me something back? Yeah, it's down here I was debating, so oh, okay. Just let me know when you're done. Yeah. This is when oh, I really swap me. had a bird card. Yes, yes. Swap me. I was like, what's happening? I see. I'm at 14. Maybe get lucky there. Uh... Yeah, no, you can have that. For sure? Yep, for sure. All yours. Okay, taking it. Okay, we're going to put 
bunny into move. And then crafting. I'm gonna craft false orders. And I'm gonna craft coins for four points. Woo. Um I had decree. You go here. I wish I had your drawing RNG. Who me? I've drawn shit for, for cards this game. I should have me more too. points. That's the scary part. Don't make me hate you more. I mean, I have a mouse battle. I have to hit you. You're in three mouse clearings. You're no, gonna not you. No, not you. I was talking to Garrick. Oh, I was going to say, you're going to have to deal with me hitting you this turn. No, no, no. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about how A, he still hate Garrick because he said he should have more points. I and mean, I should. Yeah, and I still hate you. Pat, you do what you need to do. I understand. I'm already unhappy because I'm playing the cats, so like you making me more unhappy doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the safe way of doing this is... Uh, there is no safe way of doing this shit. Um, it, it would be just sending like one warrior or something, but... The yeah, problem not... with that is, is I yeah, don't you... have the uh, movements I need to do that properly. Yeah, I was going to say, your your movements are looking a little rough for what you need to do. Uh, like Bunny. That's not the worst clearing for you to... Oh, this isn't... Oh, wait. Bunny, mouse, bird. We're good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's a good way to do it. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to suicide this bird, but little buddy, you got a battle here. Ambush, holy! I will not ambush him. I'll let him try to have a knife. And I had a knife. He had a knife, but he died. I do appreciate sending Oops. soldiers into battle for pointless fights. Totally fine. Choosing not to battle, the people revolt. <laughs> it's yep. it's very fun thematically. Draw two, and I'm done. But Pat, what have you done? You've broken martial law in that top clearing. Uh, fuck it. Oh no! <laughs> Whatever <laughs> will we do? <laughs> yeah. Definitely need every boot. I don't know if anything else matters. It all matters. I guess I'll do T just because I can always put it back anyways. It's not as if I'm crafting anything. No, I'm happy. I got the I got the one coins. I I technically made money or money <laughs> points off of Builder. Should have went Despot. <laughs> Honestly, should have went Charismatic, but I didn't. Okay. I wasn't thinking cats would get picked. There was that risk they wouldn't, and then you did. You just been screwed as Charismatic. Yeah. Despot, despot, it's just. You have to really, really make Builder worth it to be better than Despa, and that just like never happens. Well, my plan, I didn't, uh, so I was like, well, I can get these three clearings, one, two, three, and then if I get coins Stop or T, I'm good. That's, that's what I thought, and then Lily instantly went north, and I'm like, fuck, um, okay. Three. No, you're good. But that was just, I didn't voice it. I should have tried to say, like, hey, if you go up here, we're going to have to, we're going to be fighting. Like, I could, I'd be willing to let that one go. And I could have gone, like, this way instead. Moving but I still here. needed this for Master Engravers as well. All right. That's I fair. Know. I needed all four of these. I was hoping to get all four. That's, that's totally fair. This is our. But no, Despot would have been better because I got, what, like, three points extra here I would have gotten, and then one here? No, I didn't get one here. I don't know. <coughs> Actually, instead of refreshing this tea... I think I need to refresh the bag because I see that satchel limit is quickly going to become a problem. I have another bag for you. 
I was just debating if I'm going to have to take your bag instead of the crossbow. I'm looking at, like, there's no... Oh, no, Garrick has to discard cards. Never mind. He does have a chance. Yeah. He does yeah. win. Or doesn't... Might, he might not just auto I... win. Yes? Uh, and if you take the crossbow and you're able to crossbow one of the buildings, that will... You can do that, too. Oh! It's... it's so, it's action economy is what's killing me here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. Like, do what you, ever I, you need to do. I'm just saying that's also, like, an option if you're able to get things out. At, the, at the end of the day, I just need to be able to do move, move. That's, like, the bare minimum that I need to be able to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to aid you for the crossbow, though, because getting a bird card in your hand potentially gives you the ability to do what you need to do. Yep. Uh, so I aided you using the coins. Uh, and now I need to figure out, I can, sp I can spend one boot to aid Garrick to get his boot. Yeah. Aid crossbow torch. Good game. Well, he has to do two more aids to me. Yeah, That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. He's got well, eight three I'm, times. I got a. I need at least two more aids, and I'm just trying to figure out how where the math comes out. I currently have nine items in bag. That's what I'm saying. So if you aid the crossbow and the torch, you're good. Yeah, it leaves me in a position where I'm not doing anything else this round, which I'm a bit sad about. That is probably right because I need to. If I'm, if there's, if I have any hope at all, I need to come out of this with a T. So. Do those two to Garrick. Thank you, sir. Yep. Oh, but you've aided him three cards, and then he discards. Yeah, yes. this is. This yeah, this is, over. is this is like it's, a weird suicide thing that we're doing here. No, it's, it's cool. over. One, two, it's three, cool. four, five, six, seven, eight. He discards two down to six. If like they potentially match, three, he wins off anchor. He could potentially be three. <laughs> True, but like if they match, he just wins on banker mare. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll try. His, his discards are random, at right? Least. Right. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, it's not it's not looking great, but I'm I still got hope. Yeah, I think I hold this last oh. I could in theory aid this guard to Lily. I just don't think it does anything to do that. If it's not a bird, I wouldn't bother. Unless it you is, really want that bag or something. It is a bird, that's why I'm thinking about it. Well then I cannot help you with that. Yeah. That'd be your second aid to her this turn. That's two points. No, I've already aided her. I've already aided her twice. I have to aid her three times. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. That's the thing. Like, if I had a clear path to getting two allies, I might actually... I mean, you could move here and aid me at the same time and take my coins over. I don't have coins. I didn't grab them. I have coins. <laughs> oh, you've... Oh, shit. Coins. Or you could aid me for two points. But I, it's a little, the math doesn't work out because I'm not trading a bag for a bag. That's I know, I know. Work. It's exhaust a boot. Uh, no. Wait, how are you moving? Cause I... Move. Where are we going? Best buddy of mine. <laughs> hey, this is fun. This never happens. No, it doesn't. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> even if you still win in the end, this is hilarious. Right? I, I can't even be upset. I, like if this if this tanks my game because it's so cool. I frankly wish I could go into uh, the burrow. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are these guys going? Probably this bottom. Lane. Yeah, that's 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 the safest place to put them. <laughs> And the funny thing is, he's going to have to get rid of Bridget, which means that his actual moves no. for next turn are pretty... Why would he get rid of Bridget? 
If he loses all three buildings, he loses Lord, Lord, and then he has to decide. Oh, right. Almost certainly loses Bank Bridget because then he's left with Bank uh, Repair. All right. All right. Um, I I'm gonna yeah. ask pretty bluntly: Do we know where the fuck the bird ambushes are? I don't have them. I believe I did have to give one to Garrick at one point. I mean, okay. I don't have one. If it's not in the discard, then Garrick has it. Yeah, it's Garrick has it. There's five cards left in the deck. There's five cards left in the deck. Also, uh, make sure you draw your cards at the end of your turn, Alan, to tell me if you find any information from that one. That's totally fair. I draw one, one card. card because I had to exhaust the damn thing. Nope, it's not a not an ambush. Okay. <laughs> he probably has one. Yeah. Might have two. Probably has one. Or at least has one. Yeah, this is just problematic because I don't know if I can... I mean... I really, I could have A to do the other bird card. Yeah, I just like, I basically have to go with more warriors into this and, you know, to be able to actually do anything. Yeah. We're, we're not really past any decision points. It's the same cards in hand. I can just say I gave you this. All right. What am well, I abandoning? You that, well, because you did that, she just wins instead. She needed the extra action to win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be right. hilarious. If I, I could win as cats, cats, I'd be so happy. But I can't, because cats, I, I fucking hate cats. Anyway. I mean, the other the other thing is we're very potentially just win-making birds here. So Yeah, whatever. this is a very oh, real possibility. Uh, Viger, we, <laughs> we finished our train game too quickly, so here we are. Yeah. And now we're finishing a root game relatively quickly as well. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Honestly, yeah. I just name. I don't. So what's the next John company? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. need to do the... Okay, it's great. Um, uh, or uh, locomotive works. That'd be fun. Mm. We played eighteen uh, JP T JP hyphen T. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna march. And we're gonna march. Is that the most cats that can make it there? Uh, yeah, I'm really spread out. I'm not very good at this whole battling thing. I got an idea, though. I'm gonna battle here. Do you have an ambush? Nope. Damn it! it didn't hey, work. zero, zero. That's hey, good zero. roll. Yeah. <laughs> That's going. That's unfortunate. I mean, That's if you points. can just march one more time and battle here with three cats, that's... Oh, yeah, no, I totally can. I just... That wasn't what I was expecting, you know. Um, so I did march, battle. Okay. Watch, um, we see what this is. Uh, come on, bird ambush. Let's go <laughs> get rid of it. That would be neat. Nope. That would be neat. Yeah, it went pretty fast, Feature. We pushed the trains really hard, and um, I died. <laughs> you can't Except really die in that March. game, but <laughs> you you it turns out you didn't actually die, but you effectively died, so we Yeah, I mean that's a mistake on my part. I, I have to remember that next time to also count the company's okay. money. <laughs> I don't know how Not you just... did it, but uh, it's I was fine. just honestly like I died. I was I mean, just, I you was were, just like I, it was over. You were gonna be a dead seat anyway, yeah. So like I ambush. Uh no ambush. Goodbye, Does Earl of Stone. Have one? Either he doesn't have one, or he feels it's better to keep it for the point. That's true. Come on, goodbye, bird card. Bird card, bird card. Well, that's two foxes. I don't know if that's good or for us or not. Something. Um... Three, three of his cards are mice, so getting rid of multiple of the same suit is good for us. I'm going to discard this bird card to build just because I want to feel like I did something this turn that was kind of useful. Oh, um, dear. This is this is just a sad place for Vagabond to be. I'm going to put it over here. You were doing great, and then uh, the game didn't slow down like you needed it to. Honestly, if I hadn't had to take a turn to Kingslay... Yeah, you would have was... shot up this turn, I'm sure. I mean... I had three mice and two bird cards in hand. My plan, if I was just playing for myself, 
would have been to go here, aid Lily five times, and yeah. just like do a quest. All right, Garrick, you got it. Uh, we gotta find out. I get him on the burrow. Um, let's see. I need to make seven points. Yes. Yes. How many dudes do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, daylight actions. We're just gonna move everyone up here. Yeah, I was afraid of this. Uh, Bridget, we're gonna battle the keep. Do you have an ambush? Yes, I do. Wait, cool. you kept Bridget? Uh, you didn't lose enough lords here, sir. Yes, he yes did. I did. No, he did. He lost. He, two he, lords. Only, he only needed to lose two. Yep. Oh, he lost them both in the same action. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Mm-hmm. See, that's why I needed the crossbow. Yep. 3-2. Okay, that just knocks me out. Gets me two points. Uh, and then I banker mare my whole hand. Mean. Yep. I actually don't even need mare at that point. I can do it with just banker. Yep. I'm not surprised. Yep. Mean. Yeah. I mean, you had it on this turn regardless. Yeah, no. But we tried. You tried. We really tried. It was very cool. It, uh, the last I... card! <laughs> <laughs> it was the last card. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that was very close to being much worse for me if Alan had instigated or crossbowed my buildings. Uh, I probably could not have done it then. Uh, well, no, I guess I would have. Uh, I guess the, the problem the is roll. I would have had to do it here, and you can choose to lose the... No, the... not if you cross... If you instigate, yes, but if you no, crossbow, both no. both instigate and crossbow, he handles the removal. Yep. Oh, oh right, because it's not a battle. Instigate, oh, okay. it's just his ability. He removes the pieces, and yeah, strike is a battle. Is not a battle, it's a... Uh, yeah, no, no, it's just... Yeah, no, because I knew strike wasn't, but for some reason, instigate, I thought, was, like, simulating a battle, so... Well, because I mean, it is simulating it's... a battle, so my brain thought, like, battle rules. I mean, it, no, it is well, actually a battle. He just chooses which pieces are removed. I, I have a question with that. If he instigates a battle with himself and you, he has no swords, but can he still get the defenseless hit? Uh, yes. Uh, he also just could have done it with the one cat. And chosen yes. to remove the building in the tunnel. Oh, fair. Well, uh, I mean, the real problem from an action economy standpoint is all the cards in my hand that I had to aid were mice, which meant I had right. to come here to aid. Right. Which meant that the only way for me to clear both clearings was to move here. I would have had to have two more movement actions and still had either the torch or the crossbow. Yeah. Like, that. that's the... The action economy I, just didn't pan out. Properly. I've had this I've been having this problem the whole time where like I kept having part of the problem is I kept moving back up here this was a bad clearing for me to be in because I just wasn't drawing fox cards yeah they were but, all like, ending up in my hand, hand somehow I drew so many friggin foxes this game <laughs> yeah no, Garrick you're you're almost 100% correct that mountain with the Lost City would have been the better choice for me. I just wasn't seeing it in that moment. Yeah, because then cats, sense. whether you got cats or vagabond, we were kind of happy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. Garrick, you've, when we've played the four of us together, you've won 75% of the time. Cool. I hate you. Aww. I was just thinking, yeah, this is like real, real great for, great for my confidence, guys. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. <laughs> you got stuck with a bad faction. I'm, you did. That, that yeah. always sucks. You got the, yeah, the rough the, end of that draft. The, yeah. the draft, I feel like seat one is almost always the rough end of the draft. Like, I can't... Funnily I enough, seat one's doing the best right now. I guess. I just, like, I, I feel like in a game where people are playing the draft correctly, the seat one should be left with something that just doesn't function correctly. 
But I guess that's part of the reason, like, maybe I need to start thinking of map selection and more from that light. You do. Mm -hmm. Map selection is low-key hugely important. Absolutely. Because I've been playing map selection more as like, okay, what can I choose that's bad for the good factions? But that's, I guess that really is just not the right way to think of it. No, you have to think about what you're going to get and what you're going to get a choice of and pick something yep. that's okay for that. And then from after thinking about that, you can think about, okay, how does that factor into my opponent's picks? Does that change the calculus at yeah. all? Maybe I go to like my second best map or something. Well, I've had games where like I wanted, uh, there's a really good faction like Birds or uh, or Warlord or something, and I would like to play those, but I'm first seat. But there's cor like Corvids and, and a Vagabond, so you can just pick Mountain, and I've seen people get drawn to those two factions because they perform better on those maps, yeah. leaving the better factions open. Mm -hmm. Just because they might not perform as well on those maps. But like, I'd rather play one of those two factions over Corvids or, or Vagabond. Yeah, that's true. And hey, if you do get stuck with Corvid or Vagabond, you have the best map for it, so... Yep, exactly. It's kind of like well, a double... Like, no matter what, you have at least the better end of the stick, either for comfort or the they're at least giving yourself the best chance at winning. In, in theory, though, in my tournament game, the odds that I'm going to end up with a table mix like you guys is pretty low. <laughs> uh, just generically speaking, I'm unlikely to get seated with a tournament champion the tournament host and a two and a two time winner in the current tournament. <laughs> I mean, depending on your perspective, you are guaranteed to be seated with the tournament host. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> oh, forget forgive me, Lily. Former tournament champion slash tournament host. <laughs> better. Better. Also, I want it to be very known, even though I'm pretty sure it already is, I really freaking hate cats. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just yeah. want that to be known even louder than I already have said it a bajillion times. But Lily, do you like cats? No. Do you like every kind of cat? I do like every kind of cat. You just want to <laughs> hug all of them? Just, just don't want to hug every cat. cat. <laughs> the, the only cat she that, really likes is scoundrel when he gets five boots. That, that Disney song is a lie. Not everyone wants to be a cat. <laughs> That's true. You know, like, my opening hand was the fox ambush, the fox dominance. I legitimately was like, do I just go for dominance this game? Oh, Part man. of me thought about it for a hot second, considering those three <clears throat> fox clearings in that little corner. <laughs> um, I thought about it for, like, a hot second, and then I was like, no, Lily, don't do that. I got one bird card and then, like, two bunny or two mouse cards. And I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this mix? Where are the lizards when I need them? <laughs> I really yeah, got terrible I I draws. That's why, I wanted, that's why I wanted Dutchie, because I was at least like, I can do something with Dutchie, but nope. Garrick was like, I'm going to take that. I'm like a jerk. Really, I he, aided you four bird cards that game. You did, and that just shows that cats are awful, and I hate them. <laughs> the world so, is I, not I'm, enough. <laughs> I'm realizing something right now, and that's that I should have actually gone with Charismatic, because there was going to be a, a Vagabond no matter what, and I was in range of all four Ruin Clearings. So the odds are, I could have at least punched the Vagabond, worst case scenario. This is true. Fair. That's very fair. And I'm very sad right now that I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm I guess that just depended that I... on which cards you had, if you had the movement potential to, to hit a Vagabond I had a, I had a bird and one of every suit that I could have grabbed, depending. Okay. So like I, I, a bird and a fox and a mouse for my opening hand probably would have been... What yeah, you probably could have even modified a, your a... hand to, to, to fit the map of whatever happened. Yeah. But I know after playing so many double Vagabond games, I like refused to do Vagabond, so... I, yeah. I did not have a choice. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have a choice. I'm sorry, <laughs> no, Alan. It's fine. I, <clears throat> I had double T. I was going to choose Vagabond no matter what. <laughs> yeah. I had literally... I had a bag in hand, and I was like, if I ain't got a T, there's no way in the hell I'm going Vagabond. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have one. That's why I didn't even think of it. I honestly was like, I, had all of them. <laughs> yeah. I had one. Honestly, yeah. I debated moles because I had master engravers and I was going to set up here. Yep. And I honestly debated it. And I was like, I think that would have been a perfectly good pick. 
I think yeah. so too. The problem is like I feel comfortable on moles as it is. I wanted to practice being more aggressive, and then I picked fucking builder. You I'm picked builder. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's where my train of thought was, and then it's where I immediately fell off the fucking rails. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I play mean... birds. I need to practice being aggressive with birds. Ooh, builder. We can try being a meme. <laughs> See, like I, I, I know it's not like that well hidden but i fucking called that master engraver yes yes oh i wasn't trying to hide it it was very obvious and i'm realizing afterwards though is like without coins in hand or ski like i should have just gone despot with master engravers and gotten two points for right 90 percent of the time that i crafted 90 yeah. percent of the time that someone goes builder they're better off just going despot it, it, it yeah. really takes the perfect like confluence of of variables for builder to end up better yeah, like if I started with, you know, uh, what was it? A coin in hand and I started up here, I feel like it would have been very obvious that I was going, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. To do that. But well, that's, yeah, that's no. why I said Master Engravers Double T, because then at least if they haven't been crafted yet, once you get these buildings, like it's one turn to Master Engravers, the next turn you get six points. Yeah. Yep. But it, that's a big gamble yep. that nobody's gotten the T at that point. I mean, if I was going to do that, I would have started here and then double move so I could have uh, done it turn yeah. two and then turn three. I would have done that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But yeah. Build so it. note to self, next time I play Eerie, aggressive. <laughs> well, it'll be easier in a different mix because anytime there's Eerie and Moles, it's going to be racing no matter what, you know? That's, that mm. was another reason why I went the way I did because there wasn't a lot of cardboard. Because like you were going to defend your cardboard, and I guess if I was just pit bullying cats the entire right. game, but like we didn't yeah. want that. Lily won the last game. We couldn't just bully her into losing this game because she won the last game, right? Yeah, we could. You mean you <laughs> definitely could, but also like I never was going to win as cats. So I mean that's well, why Pat... I would have also felt bad bullying. <laughs> yeah, Pat's Pretty. just still sour about the game from last Wednesday. Yeah, hundred percent, super sour. So excited to play tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, in the game that I'm a hundred percent of lost already. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I love playing TI for four hours and knowing I'm going to lose. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, dude. So how's your favorite is, game going, Pat? That is like half of yeah, TI yeah. these days. <laughs> uh, favorite game? Well, I mean, I you know I got to play for an hour and a half and then I got bankrupt. No, um. That TI4 was your favorite. What happened? No, Root's still my favorite. I know. I I'm like TI4 a lot. I'm never going to stop making favorite. fun of you for that. Like, this is my new I favorite game. I fell in love immediately. <laughs> and then it was just like, it, it's, I don't know. It takes too long. I like, I like that I could sit down and play like three games of Root in a day if I wanted to. No, I, I totally get it. Like, TI4 is, I think a TI5 could be like, you know, GOAT. It's, uh, but TI4 has just got some, some rough bits. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's so funny because like now that the expansion has come out for TI4, there's like where what room is there for like improving or changing this game in any way? Like, what does TI5 even look like? Mm -hmm. And I think honestly, if they could, and I mean this would be a design challenge from hell, but if they could cut the gameplay length in half and still and not lose too much, I think that would be the only way it would improve really. I mean, it would be an uber success if that happened, but I just don't know how you do it because part of what makes the game work is it's so incremental and it's so large, you know? It's just lots and lots of little decisions compounded. Yeah, it is. It's true. I mean, they've already made the gameplay length incredibly short with POK. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, base game vanilla TI4... The idea of finishing a game in six and a half hours, like I did the other night, is just not a thing that ever happens. Right. In fact, it's it's part of the reason why now, if if nobody gets the win in round five, people get grumpy. <laughs> now it feels like we're playing, we're back to playing base game TI. Yeah. But no, I want to see more round four wins. I want to see more like shenanigans. <laughs> Don't look at our Wednesday game for that. <laughs> oh, that. That is just king slaying the game in round three. God. Ugh. What do you mean king slaying? They all fucking teamed up on me. Yeah, it's called king slaying. 
I was in last! <laughs> oh, well. I hadn't scored anything, and I, I did that same mistake that Luke did, where I thought production was produce mm. eight, like, have eight co costs of units in, a sh in, a, in an area. So, like, yeah. and then, I don't even care. Someone stole Hope Sand, and I had, my first thing was, like, oh, I have Hope Sand in my, like, my thing. I have the mech thing, uh, secret achievement. I'll just go for that, and then, like, round two, lose Hope Sand. Or last, Hope Sand, is that what it's called, right? Last Hope? hope. Yeah, Hope Sand. Hope Sand. So I was just like, well, okay, I'm just fucked. I cannot score I got anything this game. Yeah. So I built my my flagship and two dreadnoughts. I'm gonna go fuck shit up. That's <laughs> I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna roll dice. <laughs> Playing space risk. I mean, yeah, uh, I'm in the, period. I can just activate just... things to get the whole fleet to get plus one movement. It's fine. That is the game that 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 is the kind of game that that group sometimes devolves into. Thing is, it's normally emu and carnal that do that yeah well it's also like like emu was saying it's because all the objectives were like control mm -hmm. and yeah. i was playing empyrean and so like i don't have a big army while everyone else did because i second game of a full game basically and i didn't really realize that it was going to be so entangled with the objectives that showed up so that was more what i took from it in the end was if if it's that entangled don't spread out fast control what you can and don't just take because i was imperial i was just like putting ships everywhere and collecting yeah. frontier tokens yeah it's it's hard as imperial because if the objectives don't go in a more economic way like you're a strong economic faction but you're not a great military faction at all yeah it's all good i'm not too upset um, I, I was salty in the moment because I didn't understand. Emu really helped me understand why it was done. I just wasn't happy with the extortion. I was just like, hey, I'm going to take your home planet right now unless you give me your ceasefire because I was clearly rebuilding to take back Hope's yeah. End. Well, and, and, was... and it was, at the as I said too, like I think the players at the table may have forgotten that you're still a new player. Because <laughs> really... I accidentally won the game before. <laughs> well, I was essentially ignored on Isarl. People didn't want to piss me off, I think, because I was playing Isarl in general, and I had a decent position. But, like, I didn't know what I was doing. And then, like, every objective was economic whenever I had all the money. I had, like, 20 trade goods at one point. Yeah. You just, you, what you did. I'm going to shut it down there. We're just babbling now. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>